Look at me now. She's shy. Look at mommy. Hi. Hey guys, so today is Christmas party, my children's school Christmas party. So yeah, we're, uh, we're going for it. I've already dropped them at school, then I came back home and got ready. I'm not doing too much, like, I'm not doing too much because personally I'm not in the mood, I don't feel like going anywhere, but I just have to. So that is why, you know, we just got ready now. I'm dressed. Say hi, is it your school party? Is it your wait wait until when you get to your own school party you dress the way you want to dress. <laughs> anyway, um let's get going. I need to drop by some places before I eventually get to their school. So um I'll see you guys. Today is very hot though. I'm gonna see soon. So very special guest though. This is coming in January. You people should we are welcome her. You. <laughs> so, is the metal drama by the transition. Put your hands like together. Hey guys, we are back. Okay, um, we didn't stay too long Surprise! because, yay, you look beautiful. We didn't stay too long because um, Sophia was kind of disturbing, and yeah, Cora had presented, Eva had presented. I'm just like, I've seen what I want to see. I've seen what I need to see. Now time for me to go. So I left. Um, they gave us food, so I'm about to eat my own food now, and I'm really impressed with their food because. The food looks nice, so I want to eat my food. I've given my husband, the kids, and every other person they're going to eat now. Let me just go and remove my cloth. I beg. Come on, open the gate. Um, come on, close the gate. guys we are in our second second location the first one they didn't have so many things so we decided to come to another place this place is called beacon abby boys company i'm not to say it's boys Cop boys quarters okay boys company of nigeria so this is an outdoor hangout <laughs> anything different on my face can you see anything different on my face <laughs> yesterday I did micro blading of my brows and I did my lashes first time ever for both of them okay for the lashes it wasn't bad at all like I don't feel it okay except when I look up sometimes and it touches up here yeah I don't really feel the lashes so although I didn't really go so um, what they call the name uh, you guys can see it. I didn't do too much Like it's a little bit still kind of natural. That's why it's not disturbing me Then for the brows, I don't like the shape of my brows. I don't know. I feel like it's okay from far 
it's okay. You guys know that it fades over time and then it now looks better. But I'm talking about the shape now, not the look. I just feel like this part could be a little bit thinner. I'm sure you can ask what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, overall, the experience with microblading has been fantastic as well. Um, I've not had any. This oil you guys are seeing is the oil they gave me to be applying on it. Like, I'm, it's not, I'm not having any issues with it at all. The only problem I have with both of them is the fact that I cannot just pour water on my face. Because whenever I'm stressed out, if I, whenever I'm, I'm having my bath anyway, but whenever I'm really stressed out, one of the ways I like to distress is by pouring water from my face. Sometimes from my head, just shower, even when I have my hair made, I can pour water from my head. Yeah, but now I can't do that. For my brow area, I was told not to wash it for seven days. <laughs> I don't know if I can cope with it. Yesterday, I was fine with it. I was like, ah, I can do this. But today, there's day two. Today is basically, yeah, the next day. As I was trying to clean my face this morning, I was like, nope, 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 I can't do this. <laughs> but let's see how it goes, sir. I'm going to just um, try not to pour water on it for as long as I can. But if it reaches three days or four days and I can't take it anymore, I'm going to pour water on it. I don't even care. I'm going to pour water on it. Say hi. hi. You guys, look at Sophia. Sophia is looking like someone that. <laughs> this is how I'm actually dressed out. Sophia is looking like someone that is performing on stage. Hmm? Are you a stage performer? Look now. Say hi. Say hi. Yay. <laughs> no, no. Don't touch my screen. No, no. You're so cute, baby. I love you. I love you. So yeah, we are counting down to Christmas. Um, the only thing that is left now for me is basically to make my kids hair. You guys, I, I got tired of, of mom life. I got tired of mom life. I just got tired of taking care of everybody and nobody was taking care of me. Like I just said, no, let me go take care of myself. That was why I ran away that time. Yeah. So in preparation for Christmas, I'll have to make my kids hair. All three of them. Um, I was supposed to do my nails, but see, I'm tired of doing nails. Like I think I've done nails now. Maybe like four or five times in my life, and I and I'm done. I think I've done enough for me for a lifetime. Because anytime I do my nails, I don't like the way my nails, my natural nails look whenever the false nails, you know, fall off and all of that. So I'm done with doing nails. What else do I need to do? I think it's just to do fresh cornrows, and we're ready for Christmas. Let us say Christmas, <laughs> Christmas. And here, so this fruit, I showed you guys this fruit in my last video or two videos ago. And I asked you guys to tell me the name if you know the fruit. And many people kept um, saying that the name was Ugili or Bush Mango. This is not Ugili. Ugili is um, the one that the seed is what makes Ogbono. If not Ogbono, is where Ogbono seed comes from. Basically, Ogbono fruit. That's Ugili. I know it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as this one. And I don't really like that Ugili. This one, they, I think they call it Plum. Even though what i know as plum in my hair this is not it but they call it maybe african plum or something the seeds actually have thorns right um i remember the first time i came across these fruits the person i was when i was trying to eat it the person told me ah be careful it has thorns inside or oh, it's very the seed the seed is quite thorn. i'll show you guys what i mean anyway so when the person told me that i was like oh okay i didn't even really get it until one took my gum <laughs> that was when my eye cleared by force you know i'm peeling it now I'm now like, oh, this is half stone. Maybe the reason why it has thorns is so that people will not eat it. <laughs> but the fruit is quite sweet. So I don't know. It's, it tastes like mango, kind of. It's, yeah, mango is still sweeter than it. But it is a very close, um, um, what is the name, substitute for mango. Like you can use it to make smoothies. You can use it to make things like that. Um, I, funny enough, I never saw this when I, was in, when I was living in Lagos or any other state for that matter. It's only in Port Harcourt that I've, I saw it for the first time. And that's where I always see it, you know, from time to time. So this is what the seed looks like. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it's pretty dangerous. If you're not careful, it can injure you. I know it looks very soft. It's not soft though. There are like little thorns in it. So I just think it's such a weird fruit. Like something that is so delicious, but also dangerous. But I'm still gonna eat it, okay? <laughs> Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Doesn't matter.